In 2011, I made a secret video that I shared only with the people that donated to our Kickstarter fundraiser. And this was one of their the perks of them donating. Uh, now their donations made it possible for me to design and build the triple screen flight simulator and then donate it to the National Airline History Museum. So this video that I'm going to show you is sort of a behind the scenes look at how the flight simulator is constructed. So enjoy. Hi, this is Matt Thomas, and I wanted to thank all my Kickstarter supporters for backing this project. Uh, we had a successful Kickstarter campaign. With those funds, I was able to build the flight simulator. And how about I give you a little tour of the completed flight simulator now. Okay, as, as you actually sit here in the pilot seat, I'm having to back up a little bit with the camera. Like if I look over to the left, there's one of the large 24 inch monitors. Here's our center monitor. Okay, and I look over to the right, and there's our third 24 inch monitor. It, it, it's hard to show on the camera because there's no peripheral vision here, but it, it, it sort of wraps around you and, and makes it a very, it makes it a nice immersive uh, view of the scenery here. So let me back up here a little bit first. Okay, now you can now you can see more of the uh, the cockpit here. Uh, we have our yoke set up. These are dual. These are individual throttle quadrants, but they work together as one. So with the the Connie, the Constellation, there's four engines, so you get to move all four throttles like that, which is really cool. Here's our plaque with the names of our contributors. I think it's important to note that this entire project was funded by individuals and small businesses. We didn't get any help from the big boys on this. This was all just regular folks coming together for this project. So thanks to all of you. Above the monitors here, we have our overhead panel. And this is our main panel here. These are the standard airline keyboard mods that I have on the website already as a DIY project. I'm going to make some that are more specific to the Constellation. Now on the other side of the flight simulator, this is sort of where all the magic happens. This is the part that people don't see. Uh, you can tell there's a, an enormous amount of cables uh, for the monitors, for all the different USB components. A lot of, here's the speaker, a lot of wires from the speakers, all kinds of stuff. So one of the challenges is keeping things organized and keeping things so that they don't get tangled up. And keeping things uh, sort of halfway connected uh, even while the flight simulator is disassembled while we're taking it to Union Station and the museum. This is our uh, Matrox triple head to go. This is what makes the three screens possible. And we've done what we could to sort of keep things secured in place with zip ties and wood screws and Velcro and things like that. 